In this part of the video, we are going to cover the Laravel Collective, which is actually going to give us the ability to use Laravel forms on our application. So first of all, you can come over to laravelcollective.com. The docs, you can go to the latest version. They actually make use of them. You can just run this simple line of code on your command line or on your git bash, which I've actually done. So I'm not going to run that again, but it's very simple. Just hit enter and it's going to automatically install everything for you. Back in our application, I'm going to start making use of the Laravel form. So when we scroll a little bit down, we are going to see uh, the Laravel, how opening a form, how to open a form on Laravel, which is also very simple and very easy for us to use. So right away, we are going to open a form. And when we open a form, we can add the text. If we scroll a little bit down, you can see we can add a label. You can add a text, you can add a password field, you can add an email field, or even we can even add a file field, which makes Laravel Collective very simple and easy to you to use. This Blade Templating Engine is very cool as well. Let's go back to our application and go back to our code. So what I'm going to do is right away open a form. So at the top here, I'm going to open a form. So in this form, we are going to actually pass an array and then we can pass a URL and then pass a controller. We want the route to be making, uh, sorry, we want to be making use of whenever we make a post request. And I'm going to make use of the store. And then I can just close the form. So whenever we use this, if we don't get it, actually we are going to have an error. Let's just give it a quick refresh to see whether we got it. And uh, it's saying that we are having, uh, what is the problem? Why are we getting that? So we have, okay, let's just go ahead. We are going to sort that out and let's go ahead and add a text field. You can see form text, text field of, we can just leave that value empty or we can even set a default value. And let's see, if I give you a quick refresh again. Charlie is actually reading the form, but for the coil braces, I don't know why we are having that coil braces. I think it's because I'm using double coil braces for the form open and that is the problem. So when we refresh, that should get away. And back in our form, we can just add a submit button and add a value, something like submit now. So you have seen how we can set the default value and then we can just quickly refresh and you can see the submit now button at the right side of it. This is very cool. And let's go ahead and make a post request that is going to make use of our store route inside our nodes controller. And I'm going to just come over to the store out. There is a way we can actually validate. You can use this validate request. Then you can pass something like the title, the title of uh, your post form, and you can set that to required. And whenever we have an error, it's going to definitely alert us of that error. But because we are going to be grabbing a value from our request, let's just assign those values to, or we cannot even, we may not even assign it. We can just simply say nodes support to new nodes. I think we have the nodes model imported at the top here, so automatically. Then we can just say the nodes title is equal to the request title then we can just say nodes save and that is going to automatically save our nodes from our requests and let's go back to our form and in our in our text area in our text field we can actually add the name which is going to we should be able to add something like a name field and set that to title.
Okay guys, sorry for this. I kind of made a mistake here. This is the name field and let's set it to title. And we can just set the default value and give it a refresh. And let's submit this. And uh, the post method is not supported for this route. The gate and head, okay. Okay, this route does not support the posts. Let's kind of use PHP artisan route list. And which one supports the post? And that is store. We actually make a request to store. So let me just go back to those controllers, I think. Notes controller. I misspelled the controller. And let's go back and submit that again. What is happening? And this action not actually in notes. Sorry. And submit that again. So it's warning us that the field body doesn't exist in the MySQL, which is very simple for us to solve as well. We can just use the form text area and we can set this to the name of body and set it uh, empty and refresh. Let me just give this a body one. This looks ugly, but don't worry. Uh, it doesn't exist. And back in our controller, it can now say nose body, say course the dollar request body. And let's go ahead and give that a try again and submit. And right away, you can see we have actually stored our value in our database. And whenever we go over to the localhost slash PHP my admin, and go over to the nodes. Think starts, not actually nodes. So when we click on the starts, we should actually get, get all those things. But uh, let's kind of get back whenever we save this. It's kind of a turn, something of like a saved text to actually notify us that it has saved. And let's go back to the notes over in the start. And you can see the default value body one. And now uh, we can just simply refresh this and uh, new, new notes, notes, new body. And let's submit that and we get saved. And back in our MySQL database, we can see the new node body and the node body is actually saved. That's how we can make use of the Laravel Collective to actually store that are using a, a, put, a post request. Of course, there are some other things that Laravel does support. And uh, whenever we are going to build the Notes application, we can look into the Laravel full code functionality of how you can make use of those things. So guys, do not forget to hit the like button and also the subscribe button. And do not forget to share with your friends. Thank you and see you on the next video.